what's up to you now look i got this update video for y'all on my two-way pass first point and uh first of all i'm sure you my badge count seven finishing seven shooting 20 play making and 20 defensive and i did that to show all my finishing attributes now as you can see my standard dunk it's a 26 i'm not used to i'm used to having like the standard dunk animations and you unlock those animations at a 40 uh attribute in the standard dunk category meaning that i have a 26 meaning that uh i can't get standard dunks and uh in order for me to get a, like standard dunks on this build to get a 40 standard dunk i'd, I'd, I'd have to sacrifice one finishing badge which is what i recommend y'all to do if i were to make this build because well any build in general because finishing under the rim without standard dunk animations is really bad i'm not gonna lie to y'all but uh, other from that driving dunks 81 meaning that meaning that i get content dunks at uh 98 and uh my shooting shooting on this build shooting in general is tough especially on this build because i have a 68 mid-range now i don't really spot up on threes now i had spot up like in the corners or well, in the mid-range corner and you know the, the, the like the, the, the deep mid-range or whatever <laughs> like i haven't really shot that many threes uh now I've gained a couple threes, but the majority of them have been having straight bricks. So I spot up on the mid range now. <laughs> I might expand that when I like get to a 99. And 99, I have a 72 mid range and a 65 three point shot. I had a 65 last year, but a 65 last year is not the same at all as having a 65 this year. But, uh, you know, mid ranges, if I shoot five mid ranges, I'll make like two of them out of five. I mean, it's still pretty bad, <laughs> but I'm not maxed out yet, so we're gonna we're gonna see. But uh, but yeah, at 99, I have a 72 mid range. Plus my third floor general, it'll be a 76. So I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to hit consistent with a 76 mid range. And uh, and that with that being said, at 99, I have a uh, I have a 69 three point shot. I mean, a 69 three point shot. This thing you need like 75 to be consistent. So you know the way takeover works. If you hit like a couple of shots, say if you hit one shot, I have a 73 point shot. So I mean, like I said, once I hit 99, somebody that's like floor general, I believe that I'll be able to hit threes consistently. Well, at a good, at a decent rate, maybe. But I'm gonna find out. Like right now, I'm a not. I can be a 93. I just don't have a VC for it right now. I only have like 2,000 VC right now. But once I hit 99, somebody that's like floor general, I'm pretty sure. I might be able to hit at a decent clip from the three, but as of right now, I'm, I'm spotting up for the, for the middies right now. <laughs> but my ball handle, it's a 76. Um, now, of course, I don't get the, the pro driven moves, but honestly, bro, I feel like you don't need the pro driven moves because you can still move without them. Um, so at 99, I have an 80. And uh, I mean, I can still speed boost right now. Speed boosting and momentum dribbling are two different things. Uh, so I can speed boost off rip like right now because I have a 76 ball handle with an 88 speed So I mean the ball, the ball, the, the dribbling is not really that bad to be honest with the pro moves You just have to get used to it um, Like I said when the uh, When the rush movie event comes out, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all how this build can ISO and all of that But I've, been, I've mainly been playing wreck. I haven't been playing park or anything like that I've always been like a red head. I, I don't really like playing part unless I'm playing like twos or something like that But uh My defensive stats my interior defense. I've been getting a lot of stops in the paint even without interior defense Now what I did last year. I had a, a 80 a, a Low 80 uh interior with no blocks but this year I kind of switched it around uh, I mean I still get stops in the paint even with this 42 because I have max wingspan the plus I have like intimidator But it's only on bronze, but I still get stops with it on bronze. I've been using it on bronze since last year It's been pretty goaded. This goes up to 83. So does this um, I mean, I'm pretty fast on defense plus I have an 88 speed right now and those and my physicals are with the plus fours Because I did the Gatorade drills or whatever and I'll make a video on that tomorrow showing y'all the best way to, to get a plus four on all of those but uh I still like I said in my build video of this build, I said if I was able to put my steals down without it affecting my badge count, then I would, because I don't believe in steals. But I, but it's at an 80 right now. My block 71 is decent. 
My rebound stats, my offensive size is 69, and defensive rebound is 81. Now on this build, I can play the, the three, like on the threes, I can play the big man, on the twos, I can play the big. And uh, that's usually what I do, honestly. Like I play the big, and uh, you know, I don't have no problem getting boards, because boards is literally just boxing out and position, maybe like 70% of it is like boxing out, and the rest of it is just like speed, uh, vert, and all of that. But it's mainly positioning. So if you got position, you you gotta get the board. And you know, with my rebound stats being this high and my vertical being high, you know, I'll be able to get those. And I'm only 89 right now, so when I'm high, when I have, when I'm at a higher overall, it'll be even better. Like I said, I could be at 93 right now. I think that's what it was. Yeah, 93. So I got a couple more upgrades to go to, like hit 95 until I can be at 98. Then all my stats will be even better. Um, so yeah. It's looking pretty decent to be honest. Like I said, the only reason I like this build is because like it's so versatile. I, I can like run multiple multiple positions and all of that. And like it was like the, in my opinion, it was, this is the most OP build last year because you could shoot, you could dribble, you could get contact dunks, you can defend, you can do everything. But this year they kind of like dumbed down the shooting, so it's not as OP, but it's still OP in my opinion. So uh, and I still like it. It's still pretty decent in my opinion. For my badges. Like I said, I have seven finishing, seven shooting, 20 play making, and 20 defensive. I still have like two defensive badges left to get. But on for the finishing badges, now this, I run this in my career because fast pick finisher on goal actually works this year. So, so if you haven't tried it out, try it out. But this is how it'll run, if, this is how I'll run it like generally, like a park or wreck or anything like that. Excuse me, this is how it will look. Shooting badges, I'm, I'm still experimenting with my shooting badges. But this is what I last had it on. At uh, bronze catch, bronze corner, uh, gold hot zone, and uh, silver range. And uh, like I said, I, as of right now, I probably hit like 40% out of out for five shots. <laughs> I know it's bad, but I mean, this build is not maxed out yet, attribute wise. But shoot, I have all of my shooting badges, as you can tell. But if you have like any recommendations on like what I should use, make sure y'all drop it in the comment section. And now my playmaking badges. It, uh, without downhill, it it literally looks how I played with it uh, from last year. I have downhill Hall of Fame. Now, I played a lot of wreck, like I said, so I have downhill Hall of Fame. But yeah, I have downhill, and I I have handles for days on silver because I'm not playing. I'm not bringing the ball up, and plus handles for days on silver is good enough, even if you were. So that's what I keep it on. I got flow general on. I got flashy on. I got bailout bronze, I got uh, unplugable bronze, and of course I have a uh, quick first step on uh, Hall of Fame. My defensive badges, I have 18 out of 20. Um, right now I have Hall of Fame clamps, silver chase down, bronze intimidator, bronze trapper, uh, gold rim, gold rebound, and uh, Hall of Fame heart crusher. And I probably won't even use heart crusher when I get all of my badges, just because this badge is so OP. Like It's, it's like literally game breaking. But who knows, I might keep it on, I might not. Uh, I have rebound chase on gold. Now you can live with it on silver. And like I said, when I was running like the, the big on the threes and the twos, I was running it on silver and I was still snagging up. I had no problem getting boards at all. But I just have it on gold for my career to get, the, you know, so I can get more defensive badges faster. But, uh, Rip Protector, I might, I might put this on Hall of Fame when I get all my badges because uh, it boosts your takeover up a lot more than it would uh, being on gold and I like uh, badges that you know help with takeover and that's what Rim Protector does plus it lets you block it uh, gives you more blocks or whatever and Trapper Trapper kind of goes in hands with, with a heart crusher because when you trap somebody and they like try to throw a pass and it goes out of bounds it'll make them cold and even if you didn't have heart crusher on uh, it'll still like make them throw it out of bounds if you like have the badge on and you like trap them real good or whatever Intimidator I've been using Intimidator on bronze since last year. It's been golded. I've been telling y'all about it. Make sure y'all try it out. And I have Chase on Silver. You can live with it. You can live with it on, on bronze. But I mean, I didn't really have anywhere else to put this extra badge. But at that time, so I just put it on uh, Chase Down. And Clamps. Uh, I usually run this on Hall of Fame or Silver, because it's not really that big of a diff that big of a difference between the two. So that's what I run it on. And of course, I'm gonna put it on Defensive Leader. Once I max out all my badges, so uh, 
like I said, I'm putting this on Hall of Fame. I might end up taking this off, slide, slide that down to silver. I'm gonna have that on. I uh, might keep that on silver. I don't believe in pickpocket. I don't believe in intercept. I don't. I play size and I play zone, so I don't need pick dodger. Uh, all my pace is pretty good too. I might slide that on once I get all my badges. But this is this is I have it set up right now. It's not like finalized, so I'm just showing y'all how it looks right now. All right, so these are my animations. My animations with my jump shot. Same as last year, MJ base with the two Rudy Gays, and uh, my my uh, faders. I usually have it on the athletic three, but I haven't got to it yet. But that's usually what I have it on. Dribble solid is quick, crossover normal three, behind the back normal two, move spin normal one. Actually, basic one, and move hezzy is normal one. I haven't really like tried to like experiment with all of these, but. So far, what I have on, I, I like what I have on so far, but I haven't. I'm, these are like guaranteed to change in the future. I don't know about moving crossover behind the back, because I think these are like the best ones in these categories. But everything else, it might change. I don't. You don't really have too many options to choose from, to be honest. But I might change because, like I said, I haven't looked through all of them yet. Uh, dunk packages and layups. Of course, I have on long athlete, based on reverse. Side on Tomahawk and straight on Tomahawk. Now these two, dunk, I like these two dunks a lot because they're like simple, but they're like they look good, but they're like still like effective and they don't get blocked a lot. So that's what I have on. And uh, I, I don't really have anything else on. So yeah, like I said, that's really gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna have gameplays out for y'all soon. I just be, really been grinding these builds, so man, it's been so tough. But the reason it's taking so long is because I started on my slash and playmaker at first. Now I switch over to my two way slash to my two way pass first point. Um, but I'm gonna definitely have gameplays on both, especially when that 1v1 event comes out. But make sure y'all stay tuned, make sure you hit the notify button, make sure y'all sub up, make sure y'all hit the like button. The, yeah, gameplay soon, and I'm gonna try.